Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. So Todd, we're at the home of the recent winners of our $25,000 home makeover sweepstakes. And in addition to putting in an entry door and some other windows throughout the home, uh, we're going to be uh, changing the window system here in the living room. This is a big, beautiful window. It's wide, it's tall, it goes almost all the way down to the floor. And while we might look at that and think, wow, what a beautiful window in this, in this room, it really poses some problems as well. Take us through that and tell us a little bit about some of the concerns that our customer had. Well, first of all, uh, if you take a look at the way the furniture is placed, it's actually in front of the window. So right. it kind of, it, it makes the placing furniture in the room a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, also, operating the window is difficult. If you're sitting in a chair, for example, like this, and you want to open the window, how do you do it? Right. You, you have to crank around here. You really can't do that. You have to get out of your chair and squeeze between the furniture right. to crank the window open. Um, so that's something that uh, this, this homeowner wanted to change. And what we realized and ex <coughs> explained is you're not stuck with the size that you have. Just because it's that size to begin with, right. we don't have to stick to that. Absolutely not. No, there were some, there were some ventilation issues right. because of the furniture uh, where it's located, cranking out the windows. It didn't seem to allow much air in here when half of the window is being blocked by the furniture. Right. And uh, the other thing too is, you know, on those nice uh, spring and fall uh, rains, really, you know, keeping the window open a little bit was a problem because when you have a casement window, even if you keep it cracked open just a little bit, Todd, that rain can, can come in from the side and then hit the furniture and the floor. And right. that was an issue. Yeah, so. also the amount of sun. Right. This is an, uh, it's only a 10 year old window, but it doesn't have state of the art glass in it. So it doesn't block any of the UV rays. So it bleaches out their furniture quickly. Absolutely. So one of the things that they wanted to do is shorten that window they wanted to put a more modern uh, window technology in that would block that UV ray so that would preserve their expensive furniture. And, and also talking about the window technology, Todd, with tall windows like this, uh, one of the things that you have to consider is tempered glass. Because when you have a window glass that gets real low to the floor, I mean, it's a hazard, isn't it? Right. You know, if anybody falls, particularly if you have little children in the house and they're playing around and, and someone would fall bumped into that glass and it breaks, I mean, shards can fall down and really injure somebody and sometimes maybe even it can be couldn't. fatal yeah it's serious. that's why the building code right now is if your window is is below 18 inches from the floor it is required by law that it be tempered glass right which is expensive it is it really is so one of the options is to raise the window up so you're you're above that 18 inch threshold you don't have to put tempered glass in and then you can use those savings to help offset the the cost of uh, altering the opening to get the other benefits that you're looking for. Absolutely, so, so let's talk a little bit about their reasoning behind choosing to put double hung windows in here. Rather than having two casement windows on each end with the center picture window, right. our customer decided to put three equal size double huns in here. Right. So what are some of the advantages that the double hun offers in this situation here, Todd? Well, one is that you just get more ventilation because you can open all three windows like uh, from the bottom up or the top down, depending if mm -hmm. you put full screens in. Um, and the other is it's easier to clean. So you can tilt the double hung windows in for cleaning to the inside, both the lower and the upper sash. Right. You clean the inside and the outside. One, two, three, very simple. Um, and additionally, um, they also mentioned that they, when they go to bed at night, they like to leave some of the, um, you know, Ventila natural ventilation rather than using air conditioning. Right. The new windows came with a vent limit lock on it so that you can open the windows about two inches and leave them locked. Still ventilate, but have the security that you don't get from leaving a casement window partially cracked open. Yeah, you know those casement windows, Todd, leaving them partially cracked at night, it really doesn't take a lot. And I'm not sure if most homeowners are aware of this. An, an individual can grab a hold of that sash and by really shaking it and rocking it a few times, it doesn't take a whole lot to break, to break some of those off. screws out of that pine wood. Right. So that double hunt really does offer a much more secure window using the ventilation limit latches. Correct, hmm. right. So that's really the story here. We're gonna take this large window, <clears throat> we're going to make an altar. Uh, we're gonna alter the opening to make it shorter. 
We're going to go from casement windows to double hung windows, make them all operate. And I think you're going to see a really neat transformation. Yeah, transformation. And, 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 and one other thing, Todd, too, that <coughs> we'll point out is that, you, you know, you can't just leave these projects up to any old contractor. I mean, you've got to be specialized to some degree to get this done right. I mean, we're talking about doing drywall work on the inside for our customer. Right. And then finishing up the siding on the outside, it's got to be matched up so that it, that it looks nice on the outside. Right. And then one of the things that we've got going with our installation technique is pre-finished and pre-stained casings and jams to match up with the color of the window on the inside and that's going to give it a beautiful touch at the end so it's going to be really gorgeous and not only that Todd they're pre-sized so that when we get here uh, the finished product going into their home is one two three about 90 seconds that new casing yeah. goes in it's going to be beautiful yeah so the fact of the matter is if you have a window style in your home that you're not particularly fond of I mean your your choices are really limitless we can come in and help you design windows that are going to meet your needs we can change sizes and styles they're custom made we can alter openings make them bigger make them smaller it's really up to you so if you find yourself wanting to do uh, make a change in your home with windows just fill out the form right here on the website or give us a call